Whether you're trying to change the side of a truck, a billboard, or even the screen of a cell phone, we're gonna show you a quick and super easy way that you can do just that using Mocha right inside of After Effects. Make sure to join our Patreon to get a ton of perks, including a private VFX masterminds chat where you can talk to other VFX artists. Link in the description below. All right, so here we have a drone shot of a truck driving, and we wanna replace the side of the truck with our own graphic. This is a quick pre-comp that I put together that has some text inside, a color solid matching the color of the truck body, and some grunge textures. Really important to note, make sure whether you're using a single layer graphic or a pre-comp with multiple layers, that the size matches the size of the main comp, otherwise the tracking data will cause the image to misalign. To get started with our tracking, we need to add Mocha to our clip. After Effects comes with a light version built in called Mocha AE, but there's also a pro version as well that you can purchase with a lot more functionality. But for this basic demonstration, all we need is the built in version. Click on the Launch Mocha button to open up the Mocha interface. Now, unlike the built-in After Effects tracking tools, which use points to figure out motion in a shot, Mocha uses something called Planar Tracking, which tracks full surfaces and textures. The first thing we need to do is zoom into the clip by holding Z and then clicking and dragging in, then hold down the middle mouse button or X on the keyboard to reposition the view. Next, we need to draw a spline around the side of the truck. Grab the spline tool and mouse click on the first corner. Then move the cursor over to the next corner and click to add another point, and then repeat again for the other two corners. To complete the spline, click again on the first point that you made. The corners of our spline are by default rounded, but since our truck body plane has 90 degree corners, all we need to do is grab the handle of each spline corner and pull out to tighten the curve. Next, we need to make sure our planar surface is actually following the angle and perspective of our truck, so turn on the show planar surface and show planar grid buttons. We can see that currently the planar surface is just flat and not in the correct perspective, so grab the corners of the planar surface and place each one on the outer boundary of the surface in the clip. Now if we zoom out, we can see that everything is lined up perfectly. You can insert a temporary placeholder to make double sure by coming over to Insert Clip and selecting Logo or Grid that will give you a visual idea of how things are looking. But if we drag the playhead through the timeline, we still don't have any tracking data yet. So the next thing we need to do is come down to the Motion panel and select all parameters, including perspective, since in this shot there are perspective changes. Then come up to the tracking buttons and hit Track Forward. Moco will begin tracking the surface of our track. Once it's done, double check to make sure there aren't any spots that slipped and then hit the save button in the top left corner and then exit Mocha. Now we need to tell After Effects what to do with our tracking data. If we go back to the effect control panel under Mocha, we have a few options. We can view the mat, which will give us a black and white alpha view, white indicating our mat, and black indicating transparency. We can choose apply mat, which will mask out our mat in our clip. Then we can add feathering or invert the mat. But for this, we need to instead apply the tracking data to the graphic that we're trying to stick onto the truck. So to do this, open up the tracking data tab and select create tracking data and select the layer that we tracked in Mocha. Then under under export options, select corner pin or corner pin support motion blur if there's any movement in the shot. Then under layer export to, select the graphic layer and hit apply export. Now we can see that all of our tracking data has been applied to our graphic and it's sticking perfectly to the truck. But if you notice, the edge of the graphic is the full size of the side of the truck and we need it to be tucked in a little bit more to fit inside the metal framing. To do this, duplicate the original clip and move it above the graphic layer. Then on the duplicated clip, go up to Mocha and under matte, click the create AE masks button. This will generate a mask that matches the spline that we made inside of Mocha. Add a bit of feathering to the mask, and then on the graphic layer under the track matte drop down menu, select alpha matte, and now the graphic will crop to the size of the masked layer above. Then just add a tiny bit of blur to the graphic layer to match better with the footage and any other changes that you may want. 